All right, what the folks, your boy, Marcus, one, two, three, five numbers after the name of Little Games beating action over here, man. Little Star Wars, you already know how we be is doing over here. Fallen Jedi Order, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedis. You know the title of the game, man. Um, I didn't play it when it came out. I heard it was good. I heard it kind of was like a Dark Souls, you know, mixed with some climbing mechanics, mixed with Star Wars. I'm not the biggest Star Wars guy myself. I... I've watched the movies, most of them, honestly, not, not even all of them, but I watched most of them. They're cool, but I'm not like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. The people that like will tell you that Star Wars is like the greatest thing ever like made, it might be. I have absolutely no idea. I'm not one of them. I, I watched them, I thought they were all right, and I kept them. But the game, though, uh, the game is pretty damn good. And, and it, my key to these games, too, are like, if you're really, really into Star Wars, you might feel differently about this. You might feel it wasn't canon enough, or you might feel that it was amazing. I, I don't, I can't give you the Star Wars head opinion on this, but I can give you somebody who knows that Star Wars exists and knows like some basics about it, but isn't romanticized with the story at all. You could play this game and understand what's happening, and it's just a good game, and the story still stands for itself, and the characters stand for themselves, and the mechanics stands for themselves. And it really empowers you to feel kind of like a Jedi, even though you're the last Jedi, I guess. Um, so it, it really just does like a lot of good stuff. Like, and it is a hodgepodge of a bunch of games kind of put together um, in terms of like the combat with like a Star Wars kind of like flair to it. Um, and you know, there's there's a little bit of Metroidvania aspects of going back to areas and collecting different stuff, so like upgrades, just your basic RPG kind of elements that you see in almost all games nowadays. Um, but, you know, it, it, it plays really well. It looked great. I played it on the Series X. I think it almost was pre the patch, though, that they made, I believe. I don't know. I eh, Maybe it was. I don't remember. Uh, either way, though, it looked gorgeous. It runs smooth. Uh, looks great. Plays great. I would highly recommend it. If you're into a... The Dark Souls is kind of a weird comparison. I mean, it, it's Dark Souls like it's in, like, a, the, you could die to any enemy kind of thing. And it is relatively hard. But it's not like Dark Souls hard either. Like everything is significantly more manageable. But if you're into some sort of uh, action-based exploration game with a little bit of difficulty, which I believe you could even turn down too. I think you could. Um, I think you could like just whatever. There's like easier modes and stuff. There definitely are game modes that you can kind of play with. Looks good. Runs good. If you haven't played it, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. I, I was I was kind of surprised by just how good it was overall. I'd heard good things about it. But, you know, there's plenty of games, like Control, for example. Control is a solid game, and I played it, and I was like, eh, wasn't as good, I think, as people cracked it up to be. But to each their own. This, I was like, man, I was like, this, this really lived up to, like, the hype and some. So go check it out, man. Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Fallen Jedi Order, Order of the Jedi Fallen.